so hello guys welcome to the second tutorial and as I had explained we will be creating a shopping cart application and uh, what we will do here is uh, we will just simply create a new project and we can name this as shop cart and let's just uh, build the project and the layout files for this project I will just be copy pasting because I don't have much time and also I'm not a design guy so it takes a lot of time for me to get the simplest design possible and that is why it really annoys me so you know I'm just going to copy paste my layout files in here and you can uh, you can just like you know pause the video and I will try to explain the design files they are simpler but uh, the main part is uh, the navigation part and that I will be explaining to you guys so so that is something main that you should learn so yeah let's wait for the project to load uh, looks like our project uh, has been built successfully so first and foremost I'll just uh, be taking these files and these files you don't have to worry you can just go to my github and like you know uh, download all the files so that's not a problem and it also like you know it gives if you have been following my channel so you know as we make more various apps you know it should make you a little bit uh, comfortable that you can create your own layouts and you know so yeah here I'll be pasting and also in the drawable I had two resources so that I'll be taking from here the cart and delete item button so that I can take and put it in here and also at the same time I had uh, the, some Java files because I have made videos so many times about like I think I have done it like twice that how to register a user in Firebase and uh, so that I will not be covering in this so I'll just simply paste the Java logic of these uh, to like login fragment and register fragment because it saves our time I have just copied pasted it and obviously there will be some error because we have to do the actual integration of Firebase so don't worry about it so now that we have a little bit of the layout stuff uh, we can fix it later but first of all I would like to explain the layouts to you so first and foremost to explain this I have to get a navigation graph so you know you will understand what is happening here so this is navigation graph navigation is like a Android jetpack, jetpack component it's a part of it and uh, it helps you to go through activities fragments more efficiently uh, instead of using start intent or something you can use this and I'm going to show you it's like my fourth tutorial on how to create a navigation fragment so I'll be like you know showing you so yeah once you have this your layouts you just need to create a graph or a path that okay what uh, fragment do you want your to be the first and all that so we want the user to log in and then the user can go to the register fragment and then we want the my keyboard is not working for some reason oh wow what is this let's just delete that and Like we have to go through each yeah we need to you know like also create some fragment files so so we can attach our layout fragment the layout of the fragments to the Java files fragment I can 
we delete one because we have to delete this later because we already have the layouts therefore and we have a fragment for product products fragment delete two and we have a fragment for for uh, the detail of the products and also lastly we have a card fragment that is already here for some reason we had created that wow card fragment product fragment product fragment register fragment okay good so what we can do here we can come here and like yeah we can change the layouts here fragment card for detail we can fragment detail and for product we can just simply product okay good so for the register and these things we will come later but here we will just delete the layouts that we had and uh, let's just close all these files and go back to our navigation graph so let's just recheck a little bit that everything is okay i'll be once we create the navigation graph i'll be going back to teach like just showing you that uh, that like what is happening in each layout file so don't worry about it let's just fix some things for now yes Register is going to be okay. Okay, so first fragment is login fragment. And uh, then we have login fragment has an option to navigate to register fragment. And then we have from the login fragment, we need to have a path that takes us to the main screen where we have all the products displayed. And we have from products, we have to go to the cart and we can also go to the detail of the product. So let me just draw the draw the arrows. So there you go from the register and there you come back to the register if you have an account then you can go back to login if you don't have you can go to sign up from login you can go to products and from register you can go to products because once you register the user it should directly take you to towards the main screen so going from products that you can go to the details and from the details you can go back to the product fragment and from product fragment you can go back to you can go to card fragment and from card if you go back to then it should take you to product fragment again and product fragment has to fall on the login fragment because this is where it's coming from and this is our navigation graph so this is how our activity will operate.
and uh, yeah so what we'll do here is uh, we'll just go back to our layout file so once this is done the navigation graph is done you can just come on the activity main and you can write this snippet uh, nav graph name should be depending on the file that you named it to here but rest you can just copy paste so it is hosting your first fragment here whatever the first fragment is in the navigation graph so we placed login one so that is why we are seeing the design of login fragment here and fragment cart has a recycler view and a total and a button to check out and recycler view style is the item style is this we can add these dependencies later and simply like fragment login has a text input layout in which you are entering the email and all that simple for a fragment product has the recycler view where you are displaying the product and a floating action button which takes you to the cart in the detail you are just uh, gonna see the product that you clicked on and you can choose the quantity and in register it is simple like you have one but like a switch button that takes you to the signing screen if you already have an account and lastly this is the design of the product that we are going to like display each item so lastly I'll just add the dependencies that are missing and then we can in the next tutorial integrate this app with the firebase so I'll just go back to my old app and like take two dependencies from here we will take all this because we are using so many fragments so we would need to enable multi dex Um, yeah. Okay, I'll sync the project, and for now everything should be working fine. And I'll see you in the next tutorial where we will be integrating this app with the Firebase. Thank you, guys.